Hello, everybody. So many kids. And that is excellent to see. And excellent to see we've got some very clever people here today because, as Bernard said before, we are starting up in Genesis again. So we have got six years of story to try to remember. So who here was not even born six years ago? Some of you. Huey's only just made it. Molly, have you turned six yet? No, Molly wasn't born when we started. Brielle, you were not born. Frankie, no. Lucy, no. So many of you. So it's going to be hard. So maybe we'll put the little people on the later stuff, the big people on the earlier stuff. But what we're going to try and do is fit six years worth of Genesis into about three minutes. So get ready, guys. Hold on to your hats. So what I've got is I've got some bits that are like the key bits of Genesis. So you have to try and remember six years ago or back to when you last read Genesis about what happened. So we're going to get 11 people to come up, and then we've got to put them in order. So I want some of the very clever people to stay on the ground because we really need them. And some of the clever people like you, Lawson, up the front, so you can be the first one. You can come and take this one. Who wants one? Hugh Connor, do you want one? Oh, you get sin. That's not a comment on his <laughs> behavior at home. Alice, Millie. All right, Moles, you can come up. Yes, 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 yes. Now we need some very small people. Lucy. You go and stand in line. Abby, you want to go with her. You can do a team effort. Do you girls want to do one each? Two more, Mads. <gasps> Brielle, you should definitely do one because you're our special guest. Ooh. Do you want to, you guys can come together, be a team. Okay, can we fit across the front? Holy moly, Lossie, move over a bit. Okay, now. Who do you think is number one out of this? Wands, I'm glad we've got you on the ground. Andy, what do you think? Creation. Creation. Maddie Snars, get down this end. You're number one. Creation. Down here. You come and stand here. Because you're at the start of the chain. We're trying to put all these things in order. So, Mads, you come down here. Okay, what came after creation, do you think? Andy, you've already said one. Sin, yes, good one, Huey, you're number two. Okay, now what comes after sin, do you think? Hmm, Seamus, what do you think? Look at maybe the number on the back of your sheet, because that will give you a clue. Oh, you're number three, Noah and his ark. Amazing. There's one we didn't prepare earlier. All right, what do you think comes after Noah? Who came next in the story after Noah? Remember Noah, all the rain? Millie's pointing to Alice, yes, the Tower of Babel. Does anyone remember that? Okay, Alice, you're number four. All right, you guys bunch up, Brielle. Come up here so we can see your sheep. Well, don't look at it all, look at your numbers. They're my cheat sheet. Okay, what comes after the Tower of Babel? Who is the next main character in this story? Andy. Yes, Abraham, come down the front. Okay, we need a bit more participation from the floor, I think. The guys up here are doing it all. Okay, who came after Abraham? Who was Abraham's son? Isaac. Yeah, that's right, the number. <laughs> I should never have told them there was a number on the back. Okay, who were Isaac's children? Andy. Well done, Whitemans, again. Okay, Jacob and Esau. Now, Jacob, what was Jacob's other name? Does anyone remember that? That is not on the sheets and does not have a number. Andy? Okay, MVP for today, Andy Whiteman. Well done. Okay, Israel, that's right. And how many kids did Jacob have? Twelve. Brielle, what does it say on your sheet? Jacob has twelve sons. So here he comes. So you come down here. You're going to stand next to Georgie. Excellent work. And hold your sheet up so we can all see. Jacob has 12 sons. All right. Golly. What happened with the 12 sons? Does anyone remember? Yes. Oh, Lucy. Joseph was sold and taken to Egypt. So the other 11 brothers got rid of one of the brothers, Joseph, and sent him to Egypt. What happened next? Something up there. Millie's got something happened to Joseph. He was made second in command of Egypt. So the Pharaoh really liked him, put him in charge of everything. And Molly, bringing up the rear, there's a famine, a terrible famine. 
So this is where we're up to. Seth read us the next bit of the story of what happened in the famine. So let's just go back to the beginning. Hold it up, Maddie. Creation. God has made the world. The world is amazing and wonderful and perfect. And then sin, Hugh Connolly, comes into the world. <laughs> oh, dear. His perfect creation is ruined. Part of his judgment, God judges the world, but he saves Noah. He tells Noah how to get out of it. So he has mercy on a bit of it. Then the creation grows again. Lots more people. The people all come together and try and become God. And God says, no, no, no. I am God and you are not. I'm going to split you up and spread you out. But he chooses one part of all those people and he says, you, Abraham, you and my family will be my special, special friends and people. Abraham... Gets, he has lots of promises. He says, you're going to have lots of kids. You're going to have a huge family. And the start of that family through the promise is Isaac. Isaac has two sons. Who does the promise go to, Jacob or Esau? Jacob, that's right. Jacob has 12 sons. And now we're getting into the story of the 12 sons. But they don't like Joseph because he has some crazy dreams. You can read that bit again. Joseph is sold to Egypt. But things go well. God saves him. God has mercy on him again. God looks after Joseph and he's made second in command in Egypt. And the bit that we got to when we finished the last bit of Genesis is the famine. So things are going badly in Egypt and badly for the rest of Abraham and his family. And so how does God keep his promises to Abraham? Well, that's what we're doing now. Okay? So you can go back and do your sheets. You can think about that, but what we want you to remember is God has kept his promise all the time. So sit down before you get your sheets and let's say a little prayer, and then we will do our sheets. Okay. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay, dear God, thank you that you gave us the book of Genesis, that we can learn all about you and your story of your people. Thank you that you always keep your promises Thank you that you always do what you will say and thank you that you have made lots of promises to us and you will look after us as well. In Jesus' name, amen.